And as far as understanding the soul, we read the Bhagavad Gita, the second chapter of the Bhagavad Gita, many different things are mentioned there. Things in the Srimad Bhagavatam and elsewhere. And so we get the impression or the understanding that there's a cumulative effect of hearing about the nature, the qualities, characteristics of the soul, and uh, that becoming a realized position. It's not an, a, an intellectual exercise, although certain systematic representations have been given, such as manasastu parabudhe yo budhe paratastu sa indriyani paranyahur indriyebya parammanaha. This is one sloka from the Gita saying, they're the sense, the objects of the senses. The senses are higher than the objects of the senses. Higher than the senses is the mind, which is the seed of sense experience. More refined than the mind is booty or intelligence, which is the discriminating factor that the mind lacks. Finer than that is the soul plane. So it's giving us a systematic way in which we can understand it's something fine and subtle. And another sloka says, as charge about pastiti kastidenam. If you'll have a glimpse of that plane, you'll be astonished. So we can understand having a glimpse of the soul plane, a glimpse of uh, our identity, some sense, a glimpse of of the, its reality, its prospect, will be astonished. So we can understand from our present position that that glimpse may be like lightning, like we're seeing here in the last few days as the rainy season is approaching. There's When there's lightning mo- in the evening, momentarily everything becomes illuminated. So from our present position, at different moments, we may have some uh, glimpse of Atma, of our spiritual self. But there's no uh, you know, magic wand or trick to turn that on, to you know, leave it in the on position. It will be by cumulative effect of hearing, what, sravanam, kirtanam, smaranam, it's a hearing, chanting, remembering, serving, a variety of things at different times will be put in situations where out of necessity we'll have to uh, uh, go deeper. So we can understand at least theoretically that we're conscious living beings. But we can also add to that that we're covered by layers of acquired prejudice from being from living in conditional existence. For how long? Since time immemorial. Right. So in that position of acquired prejudice, false e- layers of false ego, uh, how will we come in contact with the self, but what we said before, referring, Gurgi Dave gave a famous talk called Demolishing the Pillars of Ego. So what is it that will uh, dissolve the false concept of self and promote the proper concept of self? That will be spiritual association, Sarusanga, Sarusanga Sarva Shastra Koi, Labha Matra Sarusanga Sarva Siddhi Hoi. Told through spiritual association, our position will improve by getting superior association. So it's gradual and cumulative.